Okay, Callum, thanks for joining us. Uh, lots to talk about. Um, big game, obviously, tomorrow. We'll get to that in just a wee second. But we'll start with the game against Inverness just past there. And uh, speaking to the manager there, it just seems to be that the home form that we've been shown has been terrific. We're just not quite translating that away from home. Why do you think that is? Um, well, obviously, I would say straight away the, the surfaces that we're playing on. Um, albeit, you know, I thought Inverness's was, was good. Um, you know, but if you take Falkirk in the Cup and then Queen of the South, uh, you know, Astro Turf pitches, you know, the way we want to play, we just, it just doesn't suit the way we want to play. But, you know, we've got to get that side of the game into our play, you know, the battling and going to away grounds knowing that it's going to be tough and, you know, just try and pick up points and, you know, we can't play pretty football every week, we know that. Um, you know, we're putting the, the, the show on at home and we're getting fantastic results. Um, you know, but to win leagues and to be up there come the end of the season, we need to, you know, like you said, transform that into away, into away games and, you know, no better way to do that on Saturday. And say that, the, the defeat last week, um, putting that aside, we win tomorrow and results go our way elsewhere, we could be top of the league again, that's how tight we'll yeah, and you know it's going to be like that all season. Um, everyone can beat everyone. Um, you know when you look at the fixture list every Saturday, you you can't really pick a team out of all the fixtures and say you know they're going to win. Um, that's how how tight the league is. Um, you know, but if results go our way and we win on Saturday, then you know we're sat top of the late uh, top, sat top of the table again. Um, and you know that's where we want to be. Uh, I think that's where our play merits us to be. And you know, hopefully we can come five o'clock on Saturday. We'll be top of the league. We'll speak a wee little more about the game in just a second. But from a personal point of view, uh, you must be delighted with the way you've uh, started the season. Livingston, you know, a couple of goals, getting in amongst the assists as well. You must be delighted. Yeah, and uh, you know, I thought I started the the season really well, especially in the you know the Betfred Cup. I got quite a lot of assists, and then. You know, I've carried that on into the league. Um, you know, chipping them with a couple of goals as well, which you know I've always wanted to add to my game. Um, you know, but it's still only early days. Um, you know, I need to keep improving each each game, and you know, hopefully I can get into double figures in in the goals tally, and you know, see where that takes us coming into the, the season. Do you set yourself targets in terms of how many goals you want to get in a season or assists or anything like that? No, I, I never really set myself targets, but you know, to have five already in the league, um, you know, I've got to be pushing for double figures. Um, you know, and I've always been a a kind of a player that gets quite a lot of assists. Um, you know, and I don't know how many it is that I'm on at the minute, but you know, I want to add to that and and be there at the top of the table come the end of the season with assists because then it you know it shows that I'm contributing to the team as well and and getting assists is, is no better way to do that. Let's speak about the Falkirk game then obviously <coughs> your former club uh, you'll get a, a nice reception I'm sure um, what, what's your thoughts ahead of the game it's a big game for both teams for, for different reasons. Yeah you know and I think They've been a, a, a big surprise to, to most of the table. Um, you know, most people would have probably picked them to be up there pushing. You know, up at the top of the table, and you know, it just hasn't quite worked out for them yet. Um, you know, but we've just got to worry about ourselves. Um, you know, since I've been there, we've we've not won there. Um, you know, and I want to put that right this this week. Um, you know, like you said, the fans give me dogs abuse for for whatever reason. So. You know, I, I'll go out there and, and hopefully they'll be giving more more abuse um, come five o'clock because I've scored the winning goal. There'll be a big falling from from our side as well, yeah, making a way across the Carbon Bridge. Uh, how important is it for them to get behind the team because they really in matches like this can make a difference, can't they? Yeah, and the, the fans have been you know fantastic throughout the season. They follow us in in numbers no matter where we go. Um, you know and. They, they they come out in the in the numbers all the time. We we go to Falkirk, um, it's a massive derby, and, and the fans love them sort of games. And you know, hopefully they'll come and back us again on Saturday. And I'm pretty sure that they will. But you know, they can be our our twelfth man on Saturday, and you know, just get right behind the team. Um, you know, they're probably a bit disappointed over the last couple of weeks with performances, but you know, I think they'll forget about that if we if we go and get the win on Saturday. And finally, it's a high intensity <coughs> fixture. You play a really high intensity match, get stuck in. How important is it to keep your discipline in a game like this? Though? Yeah, you can. You know, you can get carried away. Um, you know, I think we've seen that last time we, we played in the cup game. Um, you know, but we've just got to keep a, keep a cool head on it, and you know, go out there and play our football first and foremost, win the battle. You know, because it doesn't matter about league form when when you come to a derby game. Um, 
you know, and if we win the battle, then, then the quality will tell, and uh, I believe we'll come out on top. But first and foremost, you know, we've got to win that battle. If we don't win that battle, then it's it's going to be a long afternoon.